Approximately 1% of Canadians have IBD. Over the last decade, biologics for IBD have become the highest public drug plan spend in Canada, accounting for 30% of the total cost in 2021. $4.4 billion. Despite being the most expensive drug class in Canada, spending on biologics have decreased since 2020 due largely to the introduction and increased uptake of biosimilars. Health Canada affirms the efficacy and safety of biosimilars, stating, there are no expected differences following a change in routine use between a biosimilar and its reference biologic drug. A statement supported by more than 178 associated clinical trials involving approximately 21,000 switched patients. Provincial governments are redirecting the savings from biosimilars to help improve patient care by expanding the subsidized list of life-saving medications, increasing patient access, and investing in new medical therapies. It is estimated that by 2035, the prevalence of IBD in Canada will have increased by 37%. So will the related costs. Biosimilars will help us manage IBD and prepare our healthcare system for the challenges the future will bring. For questions you need answered and additional information, check out our IBD resources on cdhf.ca.